you know, a lot of your decisions moving forward have to be under the guise of how are we maximizing Jason Tatum's window? And so, like, I think everything has to be through that lens. And so from the free agents you go get, what's up, Harry Giles? I know you're, you know, out there with his, <laughs> his buddy. Like, you know, who does Tatum want to play with? And, and what, what, that to me is actually, I know we joke about it, but I think that's legitimate things. And so, you know, when, when Tatum posts that picture of Aaron Baines on Snapchat, I'm Danny. All right, I'm calling his agent. What's it going to take? Do we, do we have enough with the taxpayer mid-level to make that happen, you know? So I'll just be fascinated to see um, how they move, but everything has to be like Jason Tatum took that window with his development, that title window and opened it this year a little bit earlier than I think we expected. And now you got to maximize it. Speaking of uh, maximizing, can you just clear up any sort of uncertainty? Because there have been different figures that have been floated about as it relates to Jason Tatum and a max contract. What is he staring at right now in terms of Danny Ainge obviously maxing him out financially what what kind of money are we looking at for him yeah I mean it'll depend on where the cap is set and where it goes next year but you know so essentially he can command because he was all NBA you know they can write in that if he gets all NBA again this season uh up to the super max which is up to I think 30 percent 30 I'm, I'm gonna mess up my numbers because they're I'm always going up but you but you don't have to go all the way to the, the number you can you know you could say like if he's first team oil NBA, he gets the, the full supermax. If he's second team, he gets 28%, 32%, whatever the number is. And so, um, like, look, it's going to be the biggest contract in Celtics history regardless, just because of, you know, the, the, the time. You know, he'll fight for that fifth year to be a player option. The Celtics will fight for it to be a team option or, you know, just a straight year. And so, um, you know, that's a tug of war you get away. But there's not a lot of the decisions to make. I've heard a lot of people say, well, maybe he should wait. You know, you'll, you'll hear a lot about Miami waiting to sign Bam Adebayo, not this summer, but they'll wait till next year to, to maintain cap flexibility. That's more to chase Giannis than anything to do with the salary cap. You know, the, it's not going to go up enough in these times to make it where a guy if he waited. But unfortunately for Tatum, you know, without this pandemic, he's probably making a whole lot more money than he's going to. Uh, but we're quibbling when the number is something like, you know, 160 million versus 171 million or whatever it is. But it, it's going to be a gaudy number. Um, and I would be surprised if it wasn't one of the first things that gets done this off season. It's, again, it's, there's no rush to do it except for it's got to be done before the season starts. But you know, it's just a it's just a formality at this point in my mind. Um, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't get done. Well, I thought I saw some supermax numbers that were up over two hundred million too. So it could be. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do the math in my head. So you know, like because so like let's just say the cap is at one twenty and he gets thirty percent. That's that. Yeah, that's almost. 40, so like and by the end of the deal, it'll be over 40 million a year. Um, so that stands to reason five years times, almost 40, if it averages out at, at 40, I, you know, you're going to make me go dig out my notes and, and find the numbers, but <laughs> it's funny because so. that, that is, that is the least of like when, when people bring up what's going to happen this off season, I almost said summer, but what's going to happen this off season is like, I just think that's, that's the biggest slam dunk there is, you know, I'd be very surprised if they didn't, you know, if Jason, Tan, if they, I, you know, like they're not going to walk in and go, we're going to give you every dime. They're going to say, well, we're going to give you, 30% and he's going to go, no, I want more. And, and then whatever the, the number is, okay, write it in. Just, just give it to him if you have to. Like everything is built around, around <laughs> and what they got to do. And that is my dog who is getting very worked up about the table. Probably, probably here's my dog bouncing through the, <laughs> I just heard my dog scurrying across the ceiling of, above me and barking nonstop in my bedroom behind a closed door. You can't, you know, they have very passionate takes regarding the Celtics and what needs <laughs> to happen. You, you can't quiet them down.